All right, so there's always a little confusion on how to grind to get the uh, slinger in the housing for the high pinions. The factory slinger sits right in front of the bearing. Basically, it's just spinning around. All it's doing is throwing a little oil up in that passage way up there. Whether you're going forward or reverse, it throws oil in here, and it gets back to the back to the back bearing. So, you know that the Dana 50 ring gear is a half inch bigger than the uh, Dana 44, so we have to get it to go in a quarter inch deeper. So that's my race, and uh, there's good pictures on how to do that. You open up this back so this drops in a full quarter inch deeper. So now, if you just put the slinger in at this point, it's gonna rub. So what I like to do is just take the bearing as is, put in here, and then you can start graining. You don't need a pinion in there. And so you just get it so it just misses. You're gonna take, take your grinder, of course you'll have the bearing out of there, and you won't be able to come in like I do. Well yeah, here, you're gonna come in on this end, you're just gonna work this puppy around a little bit and feather it, and you just keep throwing your bearing in here. Eventually, you get this so you can spin it without touching. Of course, you have to have a pinion in to do that. Now, when you assemble it, you'll have a little clearance here, but these things are a little wobbly when they stamp, when they stamp that bevel into it. So what I like to do is when I, before I put, I put all the pinion depth shims on, uh, on that, on first and then the slinger and then that'll give you about 50 thousandths clearance for that slinger to spin around in there now one thing you got to be careful is you're grinding outwards and bring the camera down so you're pointing this way I had one guy grind in here real deep and he actually ground through right here he's able to repair it and he's still running 10 years later but it's, it's just a little little feather as you go here okay i hope that clears things up oh let's keep going here and the other thing is some people go oh there's an extra space here where does that go well by the time you uh get your pinion in here and now your your pinion now is a quarter inch farther back when you go to put the back bearing in it needs to be a quarter inch farther back so that spacer is going to go right in here Not that it's going to fit. And then the seal just makes it, just, it just clears. Okay. Hope that cleared a few things up for you.